Hey, Cindy, thank you for the wonderful question. So the, these are plantain plants. I have a whole area of older ones, which you can tell they have the bigger leaves. Some plantain can even get the size of a hosta. And um, they have the seed heads on them, which are a very good indicator. What you're looking at is plantain. And then on the underside, they go. the ribs go straight down. Now, as far as your question, Yes, the um, the leaves are very good in a salad. I like to pick the younger, lighter green leaves. Now here I have a whole bunch, a whole patch of baby plantain. Now these are the best in a salad. They have a, a nice nutty flavor and they taste very good. These older leaves, what I would do with them is I would either cook them like a cabbage or I would... Um, dehydrate them for a tea. They make a, a wonderful respiratory tea and definitely help uh, digestive issues from Crohn's disease, irritable bowel, um, oh what else, acid reflux, uh, uh, celiac, uh, uh, tons of um, gut issues. The diverticulitis, they just help with that inflammation and they draw out toxin and they're great for respiratory issues as well. Now these seed heads, they are good as a soup thickener or you could take them and, and strip them off that stalk and then roast them. And um, you could either put them on your salad just, just after they've been roasted or you can grind them and make them uh, like a, a soup thickener or they can be done um, as cooked as a porridge. So plantain has many, many different food uses as well as um, medicinal uses. But uh, even the tea tastes like uh, black tea. So, you know, you're a regular Lipton whatever. So it's, it's a wonderful plant that also draws out toxin and heals the body.